Hey everybody, it's Erin. Welcome back to Style So Me. And we've got a free tutorial today for you. We are doing a stretch pencil skirt and we're gonna do it from our own measurements. So the supplies you're gonna need are a measuring tape to measure your body, your fabric scissors, a fabric marking tool. I'm using a clover chalk marker. You're going to need some elastic and the amount of elastic you're going to need is about four inches less than your waist. You're going to need fabric and a, a stretch knit fabric. For the length of your fabric, to determine the amount of fabric that you're going to need, um, measure your waist down to the hem of where you want your skirt to fall. Add about a couple of inches there and that's how much fabric you're going to need. If you are plus size, then I suggest that you go with twice that amount. In the tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to cut your front and back panels on the fold while conserving fabric, but that only works up to a certain size. So if you are plus size, just go ahead and err on the safe side and get twice the amount of fabric. And you're going to need a straight edge ruler. If you have a hip curve, uh, that is good but you don't need one okay but you will need a straight edge ruler i had i just have the three rules here i have a yardstick and i have a dressmaker's ruler you do not need all three one of them is just fine okay so let's get started on this tutorial okay so i'm going to walk you really quickly through the measurements that you're going to need so grab your flexible tape measure and you're going to take a few circumference measurements first and that is going to be around your waist. Now you wanna, for you, you wanna lift up your shirt and take the best measurement up against your skin. But just measure around where you want the top of your skirt to hit. Make sure that your measuring tape is parallel to the ground as best as possible. And take that measurement. The next measurement is going to be the fullest part of your bottom. And I don't say the hips because for me, my hips are actually lower than the fullest part of my bottom, so I just measure the fullest part of my bottom. And you make sure that that's parallel to the ground as well, and take that measurement. Now, for the bottom of your skirt, no matter whether you want it to be a mini skirt, a pencil length, traditional pencil length skirt that hits around the knee or if you're going to go midi which I am which it's going to hit between my knee and my ankle you want to stand with your feet within your shoulders so not shoulder width apart but you just want to stand with your feet together your feet don't need to be touching but just very comfortably as if you're just standing straight standing in a line or something like that and so take your tape measure and you're going to measure around wherever it is that you want your skirt to hit. And that's how we're gonna measure your opening. The reason I like to do it like this is because I found that using just a traditional, you know, take your hip minus one or, you know, tapering it down one inch, that didn't work for me because there's such a significant difference between my area here and down here by my legs so that I always found that you know just taking off one inch when doing my pattern for my skirts I always found that I still had so much fabric and it just kind of you know flipped out here at the bottom so I just like to just take the measurement directly so now that you've got all of your measurements I'm going to put up on the screen to show you what very simple math that you need to do to get the final numbers to draft your pattern. Now don't be scared, this is going to be very, very simple math, promise. So here it is. And once you have those numbers, then you're ready to move on to draft onto your fabric. So go ahead and grab your fabric and you're gonna fold it a little differently than how I normally have you fold your fabric. You're going to fold it with a fold facing you and a fold outward and your selvages are going to meet along the middle. So here's my fabric. It is folded, I would say traditionally, with the fold facing me this way and my selvages here. But again, we're going to open all of that up. 
I'm going to spread it out flat. And then we're going to fold one end of your fabric inside. So once you've got one side with the selvage in the middle, then we're going to go to the other side and we're going to fold up our selvage. The reason I fold my fabric like this is because I can cut out the front and I can cut out the back and then cut this off and then I save the rest of this fabric instead of cutting out piece and piece. But like I said, if you are plus size and you can't fit in your front or back piece onto one side here, then you're going to have to cut. You're going to have to fold your fabric traditionally with the fold facing you and selvages at the ends here and cut out your front piece and then cut out your back. So from your fold, you are going to mark a straight line out for your waist measurement. So I'm marking a little mark here and then I'm just drawing a straight line. trying to make it dark so you guys can see. I think you can see that. Okay. This is going to be your waist. So the next measurement we're going to need is your waist to, to hip measurement. So we're going to measure that vertically. We're going to count down the waist, the waist to hip plus one, and you're going to mark that, that line. So mine is here. And so I'm going to turn my ruler across. And now that I'm at that point, now that I've identified my hip, I'm going to mark out what the hip circumference is. So that's hip divided by four. And then I'm going to draw that line. So you should have two lines here that take care of your waist and your hip. The next measurement we're going to take is our waist to hem plus one and a half. And you're going to mark that out from your waist measurement. And like I said, my, mine is going to be kind of long because I'm doing a very long skirt and I'm tall. I'm five foot nine. And so my skirt is going to be cut at 37 and a half inches. So 37 and a half inches is my waist to hem plus one and a half. So that's what I'm marking out. And then at that point, I'm pivoting my ruler and I'm doing the same thing. I'm marking out what my um, circumference of where my opening is going to be that we, that we took earlier. So now you should have three lines marked. You should have your waist, your hip, and your hem. Now we're going to co connect those lines. So what you're looking at right now are my waist and my hip lines. I've just zoomed in for you so that you can see what I'm doing. I have a hip curve ruler here and I can very easily use this ruler just kind of line up the curve here at the end of those lines and simply just trace that curve. If you don't have this, I want you to just kind of eyeball it and just very gently connect those lines. Don't do a straight across line because your body is not straight, you're curved there. So just do a very gentle line. Again, if I were to use my ruler, and that lines up perfectly actually, yay, then I could just trace that out. So now that I've traced out my piece, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it out. So once you've cut this piece out, just flip it over onto the fold of the other end of your fabric. I'm going to move mine up so you can see. I just laid the pattern piece I just cut out. I did not disturb it and I just put it directly onto the other fold of my fabric. And then, let me scoot it down just a little bit. And then I'm just gonna cut that out. Easy peasy. So now that we've got our front and back panel pieces, it's time to go to the sewing machine. 
So to save myself some time, I'm actually going to sew my skirt on my serger. Um, I'm just doing two seams up along the side and so I don't really need a lot of fuss. If you are more co comfortable sewing your skirt on a sewing machine, then go ahead and do that. Just make sure that you use a stretch stitch. Do not use a straight stitch for this skirt because the, sti the stitches are going to pop as soon as you start to wear it and move around and sit down. You want to have stitching that is going to allow the fabric to stretch around your body. Right sides together, you're going to open up your skirt and sew along the side seam. And you're going to use a half an inch seam allowance. So we've got one seam done, looks beautiful. I'm gonna flip it over and do the other side. So go ahead and snip those extra threads off the bottom and go ahead and press your seam allowance. Next, go to your sewing machine, grab your elastic, and we're just going to close that elastic up. So meet those two edges, let them overlap about three quarters of an inch or so, not too much. And you're gonna sew a zigzag stitch to seal the elastic. And I like to use, I like to use a wide zigzag stitch to do this. So when I get to the end, I leave my needle in and I just turn my elastic. And then I just sew one more time like that. And if you want to be extra careful, you can sew one more time. Make sure that elastic is not going anywhere. And so it should be nice and closed like this. And then just go ahead and snip those edges off. So go ahead and take your elastic. And I've grabbed my chalk marker here and fold it in half. And so one end is the seamed end there. And so the other end, I'm just going to put a little mark here just so I can see it. And then I'm going to fold it again to create another marking. And I'm going to do it on the inside there. And so you should have three markings. You should have your seam first of all, and then you should have two markings with your pen, with your chalk and then another one. So what you've done basically is marked your waistband into fourths. Take the waistband of your skirt and we're going to do the same thing. Just fold it in half. You can make a snip or you can make a little chalk mark. I prefer a chalk mark. Doesn't matter. Right there along the edge. And remember this, this, this will go away. It's just a fabric chalker, a uh, fabric chalk pen. And so I've made the mark on the outside and then I'm just going to flip it over and make it on the inside there. And we're going to line up the markings with our waistband to our skirt. And we have the side seams there, so we didn't need to mark, mark that on the skirt. So I'm just going to pin on the right side because this elastic is going to flip to the inside. I'm gonna leave about a quarter of an inch of fabric at the top here when I pin my elastic. So I've gotten to my mark here with my elastic here, and then here's my mark for my skirt. So I'm just gonna move it over and match it up, leaving about a quarter of an inch of fabric at the top. Then I'm going to find that other mark. It's right here and line that up with the side seam, leaving that quarter of an inch at the top. Ouch. And the same with the last mark. If you have a sewing machine, we're going to go ahead and sew. I'm going to do all of mine on the serger, but again, use your sewing machine, it's perfectly fine. And we're going to attach our elastic to our skirt. So <clears throat> as you're sewing, you're going to stretch your fabric 
like this. You don't want this gap here um, between your fabric and your elastic. You're going to stretch so that your elastic is evenly spread out just for that section, okay? If you are using your serger, when you position everything under your needles, make sure that your knife is not cutting the top of your elastic. You just want your needles to catch the top of that elastic, but you don't want your knife to cut it. So be careful about that. And then just go ahead and stitch. If you're using a sewing machine, you're going to use a stretch stitch once again to um, attach your elastic. That looks beautiful. Look at that. It looks beautiful. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and snip off the edge, the excess threads around here somewhere. I'm going to snip these off and then I want you to fold up your waistband and press it just like this and then fold it in like this and then press it. So I've got everything pressed and it looks nice and clean. And I see that you're going to see that your your elastic is starting to want to fold in because you've that way, and that's what we're going to do. But to reinforce that, we're going to tack it down very discreetly at the side seam. So from the inside of your skirt at the side seam with your elastic folded inside, we are going to do a little stitch just along the length of your elastic. And you can use a narrow zigzag stitch to do that. And then you want to reinforce, just raise it, turn your skirt around, leave your needle in, and then just sew back again. And then you're going to do it on the other side. Go to the other side. Keep your elastic folded in like this. And then just sew a zigzag stitch. Raise your presser foot, turn it around. So this very discreetly tacks on your waistband so it doesn't flip up. And remember you pressed it so you're training it to stay down as well. And on the outside, once I clip these little threads here, you will barely see anything. And so what happens is that you are left with a waistband on a skirt that is completely clean. You don't have all of that bunching and that extra stitching for that casing. And it just looks a lot more clean and chic in my opinion. You can also tack down at the front and back if you like. I'm just going to tack down at the back. And since they're identical, you can just pick one. And I'm going to sew in my label. If you have a label, then go ahead and do that. If you don't, totally fine. Just go in and sew your zigzag stitch um, just like we did on the side. And so I'm just going to place my label here on the back. I just like to sew through all layers. So now we're just going to move on to the hem and then we're finished. So go ahead and snap, snip those uh, extra threads and press up a half an inch on your hem. And so the last part now is just to hem your skirt. Again, um, I'm going to use my cover stitch, my Janome cover stitch. And if you don't have this, that's totally fine. You can hem your skirt on your sewing machine using a stretch stitch or you can use a twin needle. Um, I'm just using my cover stitch because that's my new baby and that's what I'm going to use. And that's it once you hem. So I've already pressed my hem a half an inch. So if you see me, I am hemming from the right side. That's just what you have to do with a cover stitch. So pay no mind to that if you are not using one. And then you're done with your skirt, girl. Like, try it on and wear it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.